hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Messi. in today's video i'll be taking you through the processes of cooking this nigerian air for Riro. keep watching to start with i'm going to wash my vegetable thoroughly i like to wash my vegetable up to like um, three times to make sure that the sand is totally out of the vegetable like when you are chewing you won't chew sand because that's why I do not like to slice in the market because they do not wash properly and when they slice I find out that it's difficult to actually get the sand totally off it no matter how many times you wash it off or you rinse it so I'm going to try I'm going to start by rinsing this three times I already put the water I'm going to use to steam this on fire while waiting for that I'm just going to throw water in to the and then try and rinse this to make this a for you we have our vegetable here already washed steamed and sliced then I have my shredded dried fish and more that I cut into little chunks I have my blended pepper and onion some crayfish to taste and what we call iru also known as locust beans in english so these are the ingredients i'll be using to make this vegetable soup let's go let's go ahead and add amol into this pot I leave it to eat a bit. I like to go in and fry my yuri first. I feel it gives it a distinct smell. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of crayfish. Like I said, this is my own recipe. You can Cook it any way you want. Some people fry their pepper before adding the no cost beans and their crayfish. But I just feel like this gives it a distinct taste, smell rather. I can already perceive the. It really smells nice, by the way. That's about now. I'm just going in to add my pepper. Bear in mind that this pepper is just pepper and onion, no tomato. You do not use tomato to cook a furry roll. No tomato, just pepper and onion. 
just going to pour in the rest. We have to cover this up and leave it to fry properly. This has been frying for 10 minutes, close to 15 minutes. You can see, you guys need to perceive the aroma coming from this pot. Every day, every day. So I'm going to go in and add my shredded dry fish and shredded dry fish and come on into the pot. I'm also going to go in and add the remaining crayfish I have. Then I'm going to stir this together. This looks so good. I hope you guys can. So good. I'm putting in salt. Just a tiny bit of salt. And seasoning. So I'm going to go in and stir this 